think she's exactly the same height as you. <laughs> this was the easiest portion of uh, putting the hives together. And uh, here we are installing the eyelets into the side of the frames. The eyelets prevent the wire that's running across the frames from tearing into the wood. Uh, you have a little tool that helps you insert them. I think they're just a little piece of brass and the wire will go through the eyelet as it uh, goes back and forth across the frame. There's the eyelets installed in the side of the frame. And now we'll put the foundation in. I didn't capture it on video, but we've already removed the wedge from the top part of the frame. The foundation will slide into the bottom, and uh, it will slide uh, into the top as well. And then the wedge will be placed up against it and tacked in with quarter inch brad nails. After the foundation is tacked in, uh, we snake the wire through the eyelets on either side of the foundation. This is hands down the worst part of beekeeping. I would rather be stung a dozen times every time we visit the bees than have to do this again. I think uh, we will try the plastic coated, the plastic frames with foundation that's wax coated next time. This is just uh, extremely frustrating and uh, it takes a while to get good at it. Um, I'm pretty good at it now. I find it less frustrating, but the first half a dozen frames were taxing on uh, myself and the entire family. Basically, you slide a few feet of wire through the frame, you loop it back around, and then you go back and slide more slack through and you pull it through the next eyelet then you go back and pull more slack through and you pull it through the next eyelet and you try to avoid a situation where the wire just coils up and tangles around itself and uh, and goes everywhere uh, and you especially want to avoid getting a kink in the wire uh, which makes it really hard to pull it tight you'll see that there are two small nails on one side of the frame and this is where the wire will be attached to on each side. Here I'm coiling the wire around one of those nails. Uh, those will get hammered in completely uh, after the wire is coiled around it and just the friction of the nail being against the, the wood will hold the wire in place. What I'm doing now is I'm pulling the slack uh, away from the part of the cable that was just nailed and I'm using the pliers uh, to get a little bit more leverage on the wire. Uh, as I pull, I'll pull the slack all the way through the rest of the eyelets and uh, when I start to get resistance, that's when I'll take the pliers off and I'll pull it through with my hand, move the plier to the next side and repeat the process. We'll use the pliers to pull it tight and then coil it around the second nail. and we'll just hammer that last nail in. Here I'm using a crimper to apply pressure to the wires that are crossing the frame. It's grooved on both wheels and uh, as it runs across the wire it's creating a zigzag pattern which is causing the wire to become uh, tense. Here you can see the, the grooves on the wheels. As that's compressed, it'll tighten the wire like this and make that zigzag pattern. Uh, Ridley tightens them up nicely. And here's my helper for the day. This uh, wheel here is heated up and then we run that across the wire pretty slowly with a decent amount of pressure to embed that cross wire in the wax foundation. This also took a lot of uh, practice to do well, and uh, I still am not very great at it. Um, apply 
a fair amount of pressure and just take it slow and reheat it often.